Welcome to a video in which I am going to ask you to make the decisions for me. I'm going to show you orchids that I have been trying to bring through the winter and the additional care is not the problem even if I choose to keep the orchids in order to attempt to revive them but there comes a time in every grower's life where a second or third opinion is not a bad idea. Well at least that's how I see it. So I thought I would bring you into my thought process, explain the status of the orchid, what signs of possible recovery I see, or the lack thereof. <laughs> also, based on the fact that I'm heading into warmer temperatures, take that into consideration as you assess the orchids together with me. That may help and influence the fact that the orchid can bounce back. Also, a little information on the orchid as to why it has come to this point why it declined etc so i will be adding the name of each orchid and a number you can see that the list is not that long but if you think that you can help me out with a decision making process i would appreciate your input whether to keep or toss no maybes i'm not going to accept any maybes in the comments Unfortunately, I am the maybe, okay? <laughs> I'm going to start with the Tolumnias that need your input and please take a moment to like the video. Videos like these are not good for my self-esteem and a like as well as a vote of confidence by subscribing to the channel will go a long way. Thank you so much for the support. It is much needed and so appreciated. So here goes, ready? And oh, wait, wait. I am not going to say how much an orchid means to me or not because I do not want to influence any of your input. So I hope all this prelude gave you time to pick up a pen and paper or if you're going to take notes somewhere else, let me know in the comments what you decide. So here goes. This is Tolumnia Golden Fire. Pictures will be up if the orchid has bloomed or not. Golden Fire is trying or had tried early winter to grow a new growth. You can see how desiccated it is. And you can see that the back lead right there at the back, all we've got left are two very, very dry leaves. I have been trimming away, fussing away, making sure that I try to keep it as clean as possible. The decline of this orchid started in 2022 when I dropped the ball and I wasn't doing my preventative scale treatment with the garlic alcohol. The subsequent treatment then, of course, was a little bit radical. It wasn't uh, that good enough an idea. It was all a little bit late. It would appear for this orchid, but I don't know what your opinion is. It did bloom for me. I don't know if you think that this new growth down here will grow new roots that will be of any support at all. I can see two white, three white slivers attempting it. So I've been caring for it the same way I've been caring for all my Tulumnias. Let me know in the comments what you think about Golden Fire, whether I should keep it or toss it. This is a Tulumnia Firm Dalmatian, which was okay for the longest time. Also a victim of the scale of 2022 has been treated. You can see that the back fan is the size how the orchid should be. However, my little Firm Dalmatian here has a habit of starting her new growth during the winter and you can probably see let me try and make that more obvious lots of tiny little new growths starting at the base of all the fans there in the middle and the one on the right that little bit of green you see there that is a new growth as well and you can see how shot the roots are from the scale there was scale on the roots of this orchid as well there's not that much desiccation on the leaves of the fans that you can see. There we go. You can see there's some shine to them. The dark coloring is because of cold. That's all stress because of the cold during the winter. I'm seeing some greening up. I know it might not look the case because you may be seeing this orchid for the first time. But if you think that this was very, very burgundy, trust me, it was worse. So I am actually seeing some greening up in there. Not just the new growth, but some things are changing. But what do you think? Is there enough energy left in this orchid to try and continue to save her? Should I keep her or should I toss her? This one, I would actually say, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Why even bother for your opinion? But hey, it's the theme of the video. Anyway, 
I don't have a name for this Talumnia, but she has a beautiful bloom that is orange brown flare kind of bloom. Very striking, but yeah, she belongs in Keep or Toss. Uh, <clears throat> I have two leaves left. I have never seen a Talumnia bounce back after something like this, also a scale victim. But that's not for me to decide. What do you think? Is there enough in here to bring the orchid back? Remember, I'm going into warmer temperatures now. The leaves are very desiccated. What do you think? Should I keep her or should I toss her? All right, this is Tulumnia Red Sun or Red Berry. I'm not entirely sure. Michael McCarthy told me it's possibly a red berry. I had her labeled as Red Sun. You can see how desiccated the one and a half fans that I have are. Today, I just picked off the last sort of declining, desiccating leaf off the back here. So this is what I'm left with. I don't see any roots in here that I would consider viable, but it's not for me to decide. I'm just wondering what you think if this orchid has enough left in her to keep her and see if she recovers. So that's Tulumnia Red Sun or Red Berry. Let me know what you think and what you would decide to do. What you th this is Tulumnia Gyrac Firm Snow White. Berry, berry desiccated on the leaf front. Should I repeat myself? Scale candidate. But there are one, two, three fans. All of them paper thin leaves. You can see... <laughs> You know, if there's energy left in here, I wonder what your opinion would be on that. The roots inside, I am not entirely sure that we could consider any of this viable. I know it's not going to focus through the grating, but I hope you can see that. So what do you think? Three fans, super desiccated. Do you think there's enough energy in my Gyrac Firm Snow White left to recover in the season of 2023? Keep or toss? This is my Trichocentrum tigrinum. Got her back in 2020. She was a discount plant and she came in very poor state. But I thought it best to mount her to see if I could recover her on this inorganic with hob material filter kind of mount. But look at her status. Now, her temperatures during the winter should not go below 20 degrees Celsius. And well, I go way below that. I drop down to 14 degrees Celsius. So the roots here are not viable with the exception of this one right here that's still greening up and a partial one in the material right there. So I'm wondering what you think as we are now warming up. Is she going to make it? Is she going to recover? Should I give her a chance? What would you do? Keep or toss? Here is Catlia araguayensis. During the winter of 2022 and 2023, I lost the piece that was in the back. There were two seedlings in here, so I just pulled that out. This orchid doesn't tolerate my cold temperatures either, and it doesn't tolerate the low light levels that I have during the winter months. You can see that I'm losing three leaves. The curling is a result of the cold temperatures. I lost a leaf here yesterday in the back, this growth. That leaf dropped, and these three are going to follow suit relatively quickly. Now in the summer of 2022, she picked up and she grew one new growth here. You can see that is yellowing as well, but this is the growth that she grew during the winter. So I was having high hopes. I do believe I have some viable roots in here. We're heading into the temperatures that she does appreciate. I'm just wondering what you think, whether it's worth giving this little orchid a chance let me just remind you, I am not passed for doing all the care work. I'm super happy to continue to care for these orchids if you believe that there is a chance if I should keep them or toss them. That includes my Araguayensis. So just a little reminder, a leaf is yellowing here. There have been no pests on this orchid, so what you see is purely climate, environment issues, that this orchid can't stand. But yeah, let me know what you think. Keep or toss. One more look at the base. Let's see if I can get that into focus. Just so that you can make a calculated decision. 
This is my Vanda Greenhopper. One of her parents has got to be wrinkle stylus because in my climate, I struggle with anything that has wrinkle stylus in it that needs a lot of humidity. When the temperatures are favorable for the orchid, my humidity drops down to nothing. When the temperatures are not favorable for the orchid, my humidity rises exponentially. And you can see that in order to encourage root growth, I had the fantastic tip for barbecue and blues back in the day to put a garbage bag around the orchid to increase humidity. And that's how she lived for most of 2022. And she did start to grow nicer roots. This one was growing beautifully, but you can see that it has completely failed during the winter. So that could come off, but you can see I still have another good root right here. And around the back, I've still got the stumps from last year. Normally, the bag during the summer months is all the way up snug around the base of the orchid, almost to where her crown is. So that's how the roots would be protected and have higher humidity. It worked really, really well with the garbage bag in 2022, and I was super pleased. So when I stripped the bag away for when it got cooler, of course, now the development of the leaves in the past week and a half, they have got my alarm bells ringing. Okay, so you're seeing all the black spotting here. She came with these spots from Jump. She always had these black spots. She is not one of my copper victims, so we didn't do anything with her. At the time, to be honest with you, she wasn't one of my most favorite orchids because she was already giving me a lot of difficulty when she came. And with a name like Green Hopper, come on, that is a fantastical name. That's a made up name from the nursery I bought her from off of eBay of all places, you know. But anyway, having said that, after four, almost five years now of having her, hoping to revive her, this is the most shocking leaf development I have seen in all this time. I have lost leaves before. I wasn't concerned acclimating, etc. all of that. I had better looking leaves. I mean, this was not spotted six months ago. These all were. So this is alarming and I thought I would include her in the list and see what you say whether I should keep my grasshopper or toss my grasshopper. Those are the orchids that I have for the time being for this video. Just wondering what you're thinking. I'd love to see what you would do in each and an individual case. I hope that this video was of interest to you. Love to pick your brain. Let me know your thoughts. They would really also help me out to see where I should make a decision. <laughs> Encouragement, even though it is negative. Thank you so, so much for watching. Your support, your time is appreciated from a beautiful sunny afternoon in Southern Spain. I wish you a beautiful day on that one condition though. Please let you stay safe. Take care, bye.